Hey guys, it's Austin. Welcome to your second Roblox Lua filtering enabled scripting tutorial and today I'm going to go over remote functions with you guys. Last time we went over remote events and that was an unusually long video. It should not have been that long and this one is going to be way shorter so props to you guys if you got through that video. So first thing you need to know about remote functions uh, oops, remote function will insert one uh, it ha doesn't have any special properties like a remote event, but the first thing you need to know about it is that you should only use it when you need to return something. And if you guys don't, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with return, I'm gonna write up a quick script for you guys to demonstrate that function. Uh, return number num one num two if num one is greater than num2 then return num1 is greater greater helps return num2 is greater return number 5 negative 6 okay I'm gonna run this in the command bar uh, no I, I need to Print it, that's what I'm trying to do. Printed num1 is greater because uh, the first argument we gave it was greater than the second argument. And this time it printed num2 is greater. Uh, so I'm not gonna go into detail explaining return because you guys should probably already watch my video on that so just go back and watch that if you haven't um, so yeah remote functions f1 let's search up the wiki page so uh, used to create in-game APIs both the blah 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 return the results of this action if the result is not needed it's recommended to use remote event as its call is asynchronous and doesn't need to wait for response to continue execution uh, limitations I might have already went over that page with you guys I don't think I need to <clears throat> so uh, usually you'll probably use remote event instead of a function uh, I, I just find that they're used more often than not um, so it has the on server invoke and on client invoke uh, callbacks for our purposes they might as well be events uh, yield functions or functions invoke client and invoke server um, instead of fire it's invoke so the syntax is pretty similar to remote event uh, so I'm gonna use an example of returning stats from a game or stats from a script whatever game dot players dot Yeah, game up players dot player added connect function player equal user stats equals instance dot new folder. I'm gonna create a folder in server storage called stat file local stat file equals no capital F can up get server server storage vote for child stat file parent it to stat file um, I call it player folder actually local uh, player dot name equals player dot name now local leader sets equals instance dot new uh, folder in player folder leader stats dot name equals leader stats <coughs> local kills equals no I'll do points equals instance dot new int value leader stats points dot name equals points all right Handler. That's what I'll call that. 
Um, I'm gonna open my test server, show you guys what this does. So in filtering enabled, um, it's safer to store your stats server sided on the server and that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Stat file is gonna hold all our players information uh, in a file of their own or a folder and it'll have another folder for leader stats and we could have more folders for other stuff maybe if we want to put anything in here but it's gonna have the value here so you don't store it on the player because that's unsafe it is client sided exploiters will be able to change the values easily um, give themselves more points and it's just unsafe also for data saving for data storage that's safer to do server sided too so server sided stats is the way to go and I'm going to show you guys how to display your stats on a GUI using remote functions because that's mainly what I use it for or just to get stat information from a local script um, alright so I'm going to comment out uh, grab stats local grab stats equals game get service replicated storage wait for child work folder wait for child grab stats um, let's take a look at the API for this <coughs> Um, invoke server on server invoke. We're going to use invoke server to use it from local script. We are going to use that to call the stats from the server. Um, da -da -da. Local network folder equals name limited service replicated storage wait for chat network folder network folder okay cleaning up code a little bit there equals another folder wait for child grab stats okay um so how would do we use on server invoke uh, Pretty sure it's uh, yeah function remote function dot on server invoke, um, and just like uh, on server, uh, just like the server event for re remote event, we automatically have the player parameter argument here first. So function grab stats dot on server and that's what it was called. Grab stats dot on server invoke player uh, request um, if request equals Player stats equals. Okay, data will be the data we want to return. Equals stat file. Oops. Stat file. Um, copy that. Uh, stat file, wait for child. Player.name. Wait for child leader stats wait for child data we're gonna invoke with string mm. grab uh, wait yeah I'm gonna comment this out for now because we're gonna be using the same text label actually no I'll just make another one uh, timer Text 
just okay. Use one local script uh, for every certain screen GUI you have instead of one local script for each text label or whatever. That's sufficient. Uh, equals local snaps to stat to display equals no local display points equals grab stats invoke server points so we're going to invoke server with uh, the parameter points and it's going to receive it in here as data wait for child data which is actually points return player stat I'm going to remove the s there okay script dot parent dot uh, stats again gonna remove the s because that bugs me blah 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 stat dot text equals uh, display no we have to return player stat dot value because we can't really return instances just values equals points uh, display points we're going to concatenate all right so start test server <coughs> do, 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 do. points zero gonna clean that up a bit in fact I'm gonna use my class changer plugin real quick to make this a text button. It's a super useful plugin by Stravent. I would definitely suggest it. Uh, script.parent dot stat dot mouse button one click connect function script.parent dot stat dot text equals okay. I'm gonna put this variable in here so every time we click it it'll invoke the server for the points and it'll update like that. I don't suggest you actually do that in your games because who wants to display information on a text button? I'm just doing this for testing purposes. Um, points 50 points 50 points 500 points 200 2734 yeah, see. So, uh, points. Okay, now that text is a bit prettier. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I'd be keeping this short. If you guys have any questions on how remote functions work, just uh, let me know in the comments. Uh. I'm going to be making more videos in the future, obviously, on remote events and remote functions. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use them practically. I think what I might create next is um, a shop GUI for you guys. Um, it's also going to include more best practices with filtering enabled. Um, so, yeah, guys, I guess that's going to wrap up this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Please like the video, subscribe if it helped you. See you next time.